to welcome you to our research conference, Blending Strategy. Next is 
is there a significant difference between the perceived stress levels of the computer market? Next slide, please. Um, the hypothesis of the problem is stated as there being no significant difference between the level of perceived stress of the two um, of the two club respondents. Next is the study focuses on the level of perceived stress of the first year and fourth year the IB, IB students. Um, the researchers aim to offer a recommendation to eliminate the perceived stress of the um, first year and fourth year. Yes, next slide please. of the research to the data collected of the chart. Um, the chart displays uh, the participants are 56.7% male and 43.3% female. Well, the first year students are 47.8%, the fourth year students are 52.2%. The table shows uh, if there is a significant difference between first year and fourth year ID students. The student mean for the first year um, is 3.7, while the fourth year is 3.85, moreover the computed difference and key value is 0.1428 and 2.7 uh, respectively. The key value is 0 0.0146, the absolute value and of key value is greater than the key value, the null hypothesis must be rejected. These numbers keep the researchers in rejecting the null hypothesis. There is no in conclusion, the perceived stress of the student is highly significant, 75 out of 132 is male, while 57 out of 132 is male, from both first year and fourth year students. Uh, perceived stress has a negative impact from both first year and fourth year ID students' creative skills on maintaining their academic performance. Perceived stress affects the well-being of ID students' uh, thus affecting the performance of the students. So in behalf of the team, I present to you our undergrad research entitled Stay Safe Rider, Development of a Safety Mobile Application to Monitor the Location and Health Conditions of Delivery Riders. Next slide. The rise of globalization has affected the lives of people all over the world. Technology is one of the main targets for its sole purpose is to make people lives easier and more efficient. This leads to the researchers to conduct a study that will address the location and health problems delivery riders through the development of safety mobile application. Moreover, as of 2021, a total of 175,000 delivery riders are registered in the building. Next slide. According to both qualitative and quantitative measures, of data, this inquiry falls under a mixed method type of research. In this study, narrative and numerical data were evaluated to support safety mobile application focusing on the location and condition of riders. The house of quality, the house of quality will also be integrated, analyze the needs of the customers and incorporate in development of the application. The researchers utilize Snowbeam's formula to determine the sample size. Furthermore, with a total of population of 2,812 and 0 0.05 error level, the researchers came up with 350 samples. Next slide. The results of the household quality are based on the percentage difference formula seen in equation 5.1.1. It has been found that stays, the stays in rider has 3.6 points ahead of waste, which has a percentage of difference of 15.38%. Using equation 5.1.3. On the other hand, using equation 5.1.3, the researchers determined that the state state writer is 23.28% or 5.1 points ahead of the For the third presentation, we see the commerce website for customized wearable art. First is the introduction. Introduction, uh, you can't see it is an uh, e-commerce website where you can make purchase customized uh, art, wearable art like shoes, clothes, belts. Uh, it also uh, it also generates you can't see it into uh, into a word which means is domain art. 
our advocacy is to support the artists to uh, do startup business because uh, as you can see in the past two years, uh, we are in a pandemic and e-commerce e businesses is a really common during that time. And also in our advocacy, we are able to build a website where you can sell uh, handmade products. I uh, mean, uh, and also it is also to promote uh, artists in the Philippines to enhance their skills due to their art. And also a trend and fashion unique uh, customized products and provide a, a customer, uh, where as of now our customers tend to, tend to like a new clothes, like uh, a trendy clothes and aesthetics. Like, uh, uh, during our uh, study, we have uh, three components. First is the first is the qualitative need. So, in uh, our our team, uh, the proponents uh, conduct in this uh, analysis survey. What we uh, during during this time, we were going to have a survey analysis. We we tend to go to places like Argentan Island to know where they want. To customers to customize their bag, shoes, and clothes. Next is technological development. During this time, we were able to have a prototype and uh, and also to that we will also protect the information users to uh, using the cloud when the prototype is already made. And, uh, uh, our 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 prototype also have a viral maintenance, but it's but fixes, optimized website, and search engine optimization. And lastly, when we do the prototype and we were able to defend it, this is the quantitative and statistical analysis. This time, the people conduct a quality, qualitative survey with the validation of experts like web developers, software engineers, customer satisfaction, and also art enthusiasts, where, uh, which, which the main expert that we had. Overall, this is the conclusion. We have, in our feasibility study, we have a financial aspect of measurement. This time, we were able to know where where our feasibility study is feasible. Uh, so, as you can see, it is all up to, and the, and the measurement is the period net present value and profitability index. Uh, during this time, we can see in five years' time, our company exceeds can able to produce and can make a profit within a 500,000. So you can see we were able to pay back our investment in one year and six months. And we have a net, net present value of 3,438,015 pesos. And the probability index is 3.29. And our internal rate of return is 75.92. Which is uh, which means a higher higher rate indicates high return of investment. Overall, I am proud to say that our feasibility study is a uh, is a second to the like, top two of the of, of all the feasibility feasibility study during our time.